Hi, I'm Kyram Chung. I'm the principal product manager for Code Review, and I just wanted to walk through some of the new request changes functionality and sort of demo how that works, give an explainer of the different states, and um, hopefully that'll make getting started a little bit easier for folks. So let me share this screen. Um, so I've got two um, two different windows up here. They're signed into different users just so I can play part of a, someone who's got all the permissions in a project and someone who doesn't, and then go through the review. And so um, we'll start over here. So this is the user that doesn't have, um, that isn't able to write or isn't able to do anything to the branches. And if I go through and I review sort of these changes, um, I might leave an entire review. Um, I can't do anything on this file, but what I can go ahead and do is I can um, use the quick actions to sort of um, submit a review and, and go through all the different things. And so when I submit a review, I could um, I could comment. And so that updates over here that I've commented. Um, I can go ahead and do another review and I could approve the change. Um, and so you'll see that that shows that I've approved it. And now, you know, my approval is there and it's still ready to merge. Um, I'll go ahead and revoke the approval. And so my approval goes away. And then we'll do this last state, which is um, request changes. And so this project has the blocking behavior enabled. And so you'll notice right now that it says it's ready to merge by users who can write the target branch. And over here, as a user who has permissions, I'm able to merge this. So as soon as I submit this one, what you'll see is that immediately my state over here goes to this um, request changes. And there's a new check in that says, you know, one check failed and the changes must be resolved. And it also says I can't bypass. Um, so I don't have the permissions to bypass request changes. So the way we've implemented this is that when someone requests changes, uh, either the user who requested changes needs to come back and approve the change. And so that would clear it. So if I were to do this and I were to approve, um, so I've approved it now, which has removed my change request, and now it's ready to, to go. Um, so let me revoke my approval again. And then we'll go back to this state where we submit request changes. And so I requested changes. And so the way we've implemented this is when there are changes requested, users who have permission, um, the two ways it can be removed is I can approve it, and it goes away because you've resolved my changes. Or users who have permission to write to the branch, so like this user over here, They'll recognize, they'll see that there's a check failed and that the check has to be resolved. But maybe I can't get a hold of this user to complete the review, or maybe two other people have done it, but this request changes still stands. You know, There's certain situations where uh, maybe we want the ability to get past this. And so if I have permissions to merge, then I have the permission also to bypass. And so I can click this bypass button. Uh, it'll let you know that bypassing will allow you to merge even if someone's requested changes and it applies to future reviews as well. So even if they come back and review, you know, we're already in a bypass state. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bypass. I'm not going to go ahead and bypass this one in case I'm going to come back, but I'll show you. So this one, this merge request here, um, you know, we had a check. It was bypassed. So it no longer shows up. It says merge with caution An override was added. The override was the change request you know, completed and it was bypassed. Users who have permissions to bypass can also remove the bypass. So I can remove a bypass, it goes back and there's still an outstanding change request on this one from some user. It's not the test user on this merge request, but that same state still exists. Uh, back to the first one, you know, if I wanted to go ahead and merge this, I would bypass it, uh, assuming I can't get the person to approve it. And then I get my merge controls back. I merge the merge request and it goes through. But Hopefully this new ability to request and block, it really makes it sort of much more thoughtful and the permissions around who can bypass are much tighter than sort of the thread control behavior. Um, so that's a quick demo of how that feature works. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.